The history of man is the history of the horse. If we fail the horse, what then of our future? This is the story of mankind's attempt to bring back a horse from the dead. Eons ago, ancient cave walls told the story of man's relationship with the horse, the tarpan. Tarpan roamed in wild herds across Europe for millennia, running through the dreams of our ancient ancestors and into prehistoric paintings. Extinction of the tarpan in the early 20th century left these rare images as a haunting reminder and cautionary tale for all mankind. Tarpan takes us on a unique journey, illuminating the dark past of the hunting lodges of Europe, miraculous scientific coincidence, and the chilling efforts of the genetic breeders of the past. World wars and doomed attempts to re-engineer the horse left a hopeless situation. Finally, the careful work of an international group, including the Polish state studs, biologists in the Netherlands, and the tireless efforts of a dedicated group in Bulgaria, brought a small herd of modern tarpan to the remote mountains of Eastern Europe. I like very much this picture, just free riding and galloping to be like a fake ancient picture. Oh, they're lovely and we need them. It's really the return of the wild horse in Europe. If something is not completely lost, let's try to keep it. Here, the horse faces a whole new challenge, struggling to become wild once again, facing a different, more archaic predator than humans, and bravely learning to find a way back to their ancient selves. It's more or less a modern European paradise, what you see, and horses play an important role in that story. And they are now just part of nature again. And they are okay here. I think we are happy in this one. I think it's, they should stay. To create uh, your uh, wild horses, to give back freedom to the horses and nature to the horses, and horses to the nature. This fragile tale is the repainting of an ancient picture. <laughs>